What's up, everyone? Jeremy here from mtgheadquarters.com, bringing you your Fate Reforged pre-release primer week. Uh, I've been releasing one video a day, so if you've missed any, please, this is part of a playlist, so check out all the rest of them so you're totally ready to rock. Uh, one of the things I wanted to add to the pre-release prep week uh, video series is some uh, sample sealed decks. Now, it's hard to just look at the cards and like build a deck in front of you in real time because as you guys know when you get there you gotta sort everything and uh you know it usually if you're like me you're building a deck right up to the very last minute i normally don't even sleeve my decks because i don't have time i want to spend every minute trying to perfect my deck um but what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through like some sample card pools from each of the uh five clans and uh, I think this will be helpful for you just for entertainment. It's going to be fun to kind of simulate opening packs of Fate Reforged, but also um, it will be fun uh, just uh, looking at the cards, pretending pr pretending we're all in the moment. It helps prepare you for when you go uh, to pre-release. You kind of, I don't know, I feel like it's helpful. So let's, uh, let's pretend we picked Abzan, which is uh, you get your Abzan Seated Booster. Um, your Abzan Packins, four Fate Reforged boosters, one Konzatark here. Here we go. It's pre release. It's 12.01. We just got our cards. Boom. Let's see. Now, uh, the pre release boosters are a guess. The first slot is Mythic or Rare from that clan. The second is a Rune Mark. That's a guess based on the rest of the KTK booster layout. So, um, what I like to do is sort, first of all, by color. Now let's go by rarity. Um, from our Fate Reforged booster, looks like we pulled a Warden of the First Tree. I can't zoom in, this is an MTGO, but uh, excellent, excellent Obzon Mythic. Um, great start. Um, Dark Deal, each player discards the cards and draws new cards. That could be pretty good. Uh, late game, that's probably pretty good if you have a mitt full of lands. Um, cash defenses, putting tokens on stuff, that's very good. We got a Destructor Dragon. Six mana, 4-4 four, four flying. Um, that's very playable. That will see play in the deck. Hunt the Weak, this is a great, great uh, um, seated pack. So, uh, Anak... Einak Guide is very good. Hunt the Week, I would play. Ancestral Vengeance. Um, some pretty pretty good Obzon cards. Our first, uh, well here we get our Obzon Houses, our little checklist card, our Obzon Button, and our Spin Down, very cool. And uh, our Khans Tarkir pack, our rare is a Narset, Enlightened Master, Burn. Um, definitely a miss uh, you could end up wanting to play like five color or something like that but uh, what I'm trying to do is simulate being an obs on so I'm looking through these packs just like you would and decide which cards will make the cut right misfire weaver that's unfortunate not really playable in obs on um, divine strike Mardu hate played maybe war behemoth and CJ Harry are both playables as morphs um, here in our fate reforged pack we got a wooded foothills yay um, that is decent, um, decent, as, uh, Bubbles would say. Um, Teamer Runemark, meh, this pack is not great for Obzon. We got another Hunt the Week, which is good. I'd probably play maybe two of those in the deck. I wouldn't go more than two unless you were really, really, really light on removal. Um, Return to Earth is a good sideboard card. Um, you could play it main deck if you wanted. Grave Strength is good. Noxious Dragon. We've got another uncommon dragon in our colors. Um, so that's pretty good. And, uh, oh, wow. Okay, so actually we got the Wooded Foothills in a land slot. And our rare is uh, Dromka the Eternal, which goes perfectly in our Obzon deck. 5-5 five, five Flyer with Bolster. Whenever a dragon control attacks, Bolster 2, which is amazing because we already have uh, Dromoka or Dromoka. Yeah. And then we have um, a dragon in our seated pack that will probably play Destructor Dragon. Pretty good so far. Building some nice little pieces here. 
Oh, and we got the Noxious Dragon, too. So we have both uh, two uncommon dragons in our color, plus a third dragon. Wow, this deck would be pretty saucy. Um, let's go by rarity in another Fate Reforged. Whoa, we got a foil ward scale dragon. Holy cats, this would be like a dominant pool. Yes, we have a ton of six drops, but we'd have the dragon of every color in Abzan, plus the multicolored dragon. Holy cats, this would be one heck of an Abzan pool. Uh, we're definitely light on fixing so far. Uh, Fate Reforge booster. Oh, excellent. Um, we got a legendary uh, Dag Hatar. Um, great for this deck. Wow, this this would be one heck of a sealed pool. Um, Sandstep Outcast, very good. This allows you to move um, counters from target creature onto another creature, and so it's great as in response to removal and blah, blah, blah. Um, as a combat trick and all sorts of cool stuff like that. Very good. Hooded Assassin. Um... Okay, Dowson Gloom. Okay, there's some fixing finally. Um, I think this is our last pack. Rally the Ancestors. I don't know. Mardu Woe Reapers are on uh, Abzan Advantage. Very good uh, if they're running en enchantments. Sand Steep Outcast. Very good. Now, if I was going to play this deck, I would definitely want to load up on low cost creatures. Um, like Mardu War Woe Reaper is actually pretty good in this deck. Jungle Hollow for fixing. Frontier Mastodon, great. Um, you want to control the early game so that you have time to get out all those crazy dragons. This would be a pretty good Abzan deck. Um, I gotta have to speed it up a little bit. Let's go um, Jeskai. This is what I happen to be choosing uh, for uh, my pre-release. Here we go. Shazam. Whoa. 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 Our seated booster provided a mythic Soulfire Grandmaster. Sick. Um, the Jeskai Rune Mark is pretty good. Um, Ward Scale Dragon, very good and uncommon. And lots of spells like Pyrotechnics, Friendly Fire, um, War Flare. That's very good in Jeskai. I think that's going to be a pretty saucy ability. Um, as a, I mean, a seriously great uh, combat trick. Cunning Strike. Wow, you've got a lot of stuff here. Okay, so we've got our Jeskai uh, spin down and the button. And again, this is more for entertainment, but also I'm trying to set it up like I'm going through the packs with you. And uh, I'm looking at what I'm what I'm seeing here, and of course I might miss stuff. Obviously, let's sort by rarity and go into our cons. Oh, an Ash Cloud Phoenix! Boom! What a pull! Uh, we nailed an Ash Cloud Phoenix, which is sick. Uh, fits right into our Just Guy build. Suspension Field and Riverwell areas. Boom, boom, boom. Play all three of those. Smite the monsters, maybe. Um, oh, nice. And a Tranquil Quote. We got three lands in this uh, pack. Very good. All right, here we go. First Fate Reforge, Outpost Siege. Meh. Oh, but we happen to pull a Bloodstained Mire. All right, I'm uh, so very sorry. Hopefully, I uh, I don't know where I cut off here. But I uh, had a very important work call to take, and uh, it was a good one. I'm trying to close some new clients so I can get more time to make more videos. So uh, here we are in the uh, Fate Reforge booster. We've got um, a Bloodstained Mire. Uh, which is nice, but not really in our, our color. Outpost Siege, um, you know, it's uh, seems okay. Um, no huge, like, bombs that I can see here. Moving on. Oh, I'm sorry. War Flare, very good. Double War Flare. I like that. I mean, I would like to pump as many prowess creatures as I can and just play all those War Flares and just go after it. Um, next pack, let's... Uh, Hide it a little bit. Go to rarity and an arc bond. Very nice. Uh, choose target creature. Whenever that creature is dealt damage this turn, it deals that much damage to each other creature and each player. Potential huge blow out there. Um, you know, definitely happy to see that. Always happy to get on color rares in sealed. 
Again, just because you pick something like Just Guy, that doesn't mean you have to play Just Guy because you're just opening all these packs. I mean, you certainly can play whatever you want. Um, we've got uh, Rakshasa's Disdain right into being. Um, a cunning, another Cunning Strike Manifest token. Okay, uh, here we go. Sort it. Oh, and a Mythic. Whisperwood Elemental, something that is currently rising in price, I believe. Um, according to my... MTG Finance Connections. Uh, good. Unfortunately, not going to play this in a Just Guy deck. Uh, we have the Woe Reaper, which is a nice stall card. 2 1 for 1 is, is always good, and that extra ability is not bad. Um, Shifting Loyalties, nah. Soul Summons, eh. Um, here's finally a, a solid Prowess creature, Just Guy Sage. Uh, whenever it dies, draw a card. It also has Prowess that's playable uh, for sure. Um, let's get into this pack. Oh, we have a Soul Flayer as our rare, and then another boy. These uh, mythics or uncommons and mythic or uncommons seem to be pretty similar. But a Valorous Stance, excellent removal spell that is an automatic uh, playable. Uh, if we're trying to play Jess Guy War Flare, we've already got a ton of them, but uh, you know, that's all of them. So that's Jess Guy. Not a bad, uh, not a bad pool. Not as good as our Obzon one. Let's go to Sult, the Sultai Brood, okay? Uh, let's generate. And this is just for fun, but also to kind of help uh, you know what I'm looking at when I look at stuff and, um, you know, uh, help you get used to looking for cards that you want to build your deck with. Usually what I do is I take a pass through, I pull out all the cards that I know for sure I want to play. Then I, uh, I work um, the list. So our first pass, we have... The uh, Time Walk card, Temporal Trespass in Sultai. This is a very, um, you know, if you're going to play this card, you're going to play this card in a Sultai deck. Um, takes an extra turn after this turn is interesting. I don't know if I would play it. Um, if I was heavy, heavy blue Sultai, um, maybe. Uh, but I don't know. In Limited, I guess it's always a powerful effect, but I don't know. Uh, you know, Noxious Dragon is good here. We've got a lot of great. The Seated Packs have been great. Uh, Sultai Skull Keeper is very good. Um, you know, for uh, fueling your graveyard, for fueling Delph. Um, Hunt the Weak is just fine. Return to Earth, sideboard. We have our Sultai. <clears throat> this is a pretty cool little touch they, they added here. All right, now let's go to our cons of Tarkir pack. Come on, on color rare. A Rattleclaw Mystic. Uh, I might play that. Whoa, a Foil Monastery Swiss Spear. Cash money pull. Um, Rattleclaw Mystic has two of our colors in it. Um, and it is a morph. Uh, I probably play that. Jeskai Elder, I probably play. I always like that card. So our Blood Flies is good. Um, Dragon Seal Boom is okay. Boom, I always put that off on the side, and I kind of look for how many tricks I have, and it's a it's a fine trick. A Crippling Chill is fine too. Um, our first first Fate Reforged, excellent, excellent. Uh, um, first rare. While it's not in our clan, it's very playable. Four two Trample. Um, you know, you'd have to play one and two blue to get uh, the ability, but <laughs> if you do. Uh, that's extremely um, powerful effect. It's like active treason on a stick with some, you know, disadvantages. But we've we've got Sib Sig Merc Draggers. We've got uh, Mardu Shadow Spear. Um, I always think, you know, I played Sultai early. I still like Sultai as a as a clan, um, but for sealed, it's it's hard to win. It's just. You know, I'll tell you, there's been a lot of times that I've drafted, like, the nuts Sultai deck on MTGO and just lost. You know, it's it's tough to, to it's tough sledding. But fortunately, with the, uh, with all the promo rares and stuff like that, I think you have a better chance to maybe pick a clan that isn't as even and uh, still have a good chance to win. Uh, shoot. Okay, rarity. Oh, Sage Eye Avengers. Excellent, excellent, excellent card. 4-5 uh, with Prowess. We're ending up with a lot of our blues kind of in the Jeskai uh, clan. But, um, you know, um, you could even play Abzan Kinguard. 
uh, if you want. Remember with uh, s with sealed uh, evasion is extremely important. I'd always rather take like a a two one flyer than a three two or even a four power thing on the ground. So you know even sur uh, surveyor is pretty good. I actually like Enhanced Awareness. I don't mind that card, especially in a Sultai deck. Draw three, discard one. Um, it's expensive, but it's really good, I think. If you can be drawing cards in Limited, that's pretty darn good. We've got Sultai Emissary. We've got a nice little bit of um, nice trickery here with stuff like Refocus. Could be a nice little trick. Um, if you've got a tap ability or something like that, or you could pay two to draw a card, you know, all sorts of stuff. Um, to work with we've got some nice five, here's a 5-2 defender with reach very playable I think um, especially if you don't have a lot of things to deal with flyers you basically put it out there and say you know I'm going to trade up alright next pack monastery mentor uh, pretty ridiculous pull this okay so this is the first time now I may go back because we've got the Monastery Mentor and because we've got a ton of stuff in in like Jeskai type plan, uh, clans, you've got the Sage Eye Avengers, okay, and Monastery Mentor, and you've got fixing like Tranquil Quo Cove. Um, I might go I might go Jeskai in this build. It's looking like it. And this is just an example of how you can maybe flip around here. Because uh, now you've got Shock Maw Dragon 2 that you could play in, in a, in a Jeskai build. Uh, pretty solid. Yeah, I don't know. Soul Summons, again, meh. Dismal back, Backwater would be okay fixing for uh, if we stayed Soul Tie. This isn't the... I mean, it's a great pool of cards, but unfortunately, I don't think I'd end up playing... Oh, my goodness. Um, Yaz, Yasova, Dragon Claw, very good um, teamer card. Uh, definitely playable in Sultai, and you've got Obzon Beastmaster and Obzon Kinguard, both very good. While they're Obzon cards, they're, they're also very good. Um, you've got a ton of these Avon surve Surveyor. You might want to just like play a ton of these five mana three three flyers, <clears throat> and their tempo too, because you can bounce something if you want. I don't know. This is a tougher pool. You got a Jungle Hollow, so you do have some fixing for Sultai, but I might be tempted to try and force Jeskai just because you have some serious, some seriousness here. Uh, you could play, I, you know, I, the, 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 the problem with playing Just Guy is that you basically don't play any of these cards in your, you throw an entire pack away. Um, maybe you played Cunning, maybe you'd play Cunning Strike. So it would definitely be a risk. Um, this is a dicey build. Maybe you go five colors, but you don't have the land. I don't know. This is a tough Sultai build. I would not be pumped. I'd be pumped because you got some money pulls, but overall it's, it'd be tough to, to, build a, 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 a deck there. So let's get on to Mardu. Very, very popular um, clan to choose. I know this video is getting long, but let's uh, look at this first pack. Flame Rush Rider. Very good. Um, very good. Uh, a finisher. Or it does everything you want it to do. Uh, you've got Noxious Dragon, Shock Maw Dragon, very good. Then we're going to see lots of dragons if the pools really uh, look like this. Grave Strength, Douse and Gloom, Collateral Damage. No, none of the direct damage, but uh, a couple of Rune Marks, Harsh Sustenance. Um, that's a very good card, I think, in Mardu. Harsh Sustenance is a very good card in Mardu. I would definitely play multiple copies of it. If you're playing a token strategy, that card's an absolute blowout. You could be dealing like eight damage um, and gaining eight uh, eight life. You know, you know, it's just a, that's a good card. I think. All right, first Kansatar Cure pack. Let's go. A foil villainous wealth. 
Raspberries. We got a foil rare, not in our colors. We got a fetch land as our rare, not in our colors. Burn, 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 burn. I got incremental growth. Very little Mardu help in this pack. I'd play Swarmer Bloodflies, I'd play Aerostorm, and that's it. That's rough. Oh, nice. We got a Dragon Scale General as our rare in the next pack. Very good. And we got another foil rare. Just got in Infiltrator. Saucy. Um, you know, I don't mind this card, actually, because at the end of your uh, end step, Bolser X, where X is the number of tapped creatures you control. And, if, and you're going to be attacking Mardu, so that's pretty good. That's going to fit good. Uh, right. Bathe and dragon fire. Good little removal spell. Sorcery speed. Don't like that. All right. Next pack. Just Guy Infiltrator. Two Just Guy Infiltrators. Cannot be blocked as long as you control no other creatures. That is crazy. Whoa. And a polluted delta. The fetch lands are real. Um, holy cats. Maybe I would play. Ah, no. Try to go through uh, Mardu. Tire creature with power two or less gains haste until end of turn and can't be blocked this turn. Uh, oh, it's an enchantment. Eh, I guess. Um, pressure point. Um, maybe. Flying trample haste five five. The beginning of its up. Eh. Maybe. Kind of rough. Kind of rough. Uh, we got another big drag in here. Again, not in our colors. This is another tough, tough uh, pack here. Or another tough pool, I think. You've got some of the small stuff you want, like Mardu Scout. Um, Douse and Gloom, I think, is okay in this deck. You want to be clearing morphs out of the way so they can't trade. Um, War Flare is definitely good in Mardu. We need to generate tokens. We've got some fixing with Blood Felt Caves. Next pack, Citadel Siege. Uh, in our colors, for sure. Um, at the beginning of combat, put two 1-1 one, one counters on target creature control. Yeah, this is playable. <clears throat> um, yeah, that's playable in this deck, probably. Uh, Wandering Champion. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe, baby. Let's see here. Goblin Heal Cutter with Dash. We want that Dash. We want all the Dash we can. Another War Flare, a perfectly fine uh, token, like finisher effect. Very similar to uh, Rush of Battle, except Warriors don't get lifelink. But it does untap those creatures, which is really saucy. Um, it's a blowout if you can block with it, if you need to block with it. It's a strong finisher. This is probably a mediocre Mardu pool. You got some good cards, but uh, again, the point of this is just so you guys can get used to like building it up in your head. What I like to do is go through all my packs, and then figure out like you know what I'm gonna pick, and then build half the deck, and then build the rest of the deck. If that makes sense. Uh, we've got Teamer Frontier. Here we go for all you Teamer and Teamerettes. Boom! Wow, our rare is Whisperwood Elemental. Absolutely awesome. Uh, Destructor Dragon. Um, Fruit of the First Three might be playable. Maybe. Uh, Teamer Sabretooth, very good. Lots of good Teamer cards in the, in the, in the sealed pack. Um, pretty good. Pretty good. Let's see our, our Fate Reforged pack. Oops, I mean the pack ends. Here's your button and your dice. I got a little confused there. Cons attack here. Look at all the fetch lands, man. I think this site uh, helps dole up the rares. Been opening a lot of fetch lands. Uh, for Teamer, uh, okay, we've got Bear's Companion. Uh, fine. Uh, Horde Ambusher, fine. None of, the, none of the great Teamer cards that you want. No, like... Um, Abzan Grizzlies, no um, Mastodons, no, you know, none of those huge morphing creatures, no Wooly Mastodon, no, um, what is a 5-5 five, five Trample, none of those. But we did get uh, some Fixing, so that's really good. Fixing, Fixing, Fixing. If I could play, like, 
eight tap lands, I will. Eight or nine, that'd be great. <laughs> All right, for, for first Fate Reforged booster. We have Flame Rush Rider. Uh, Mardu card, but still playable, especially in Teamer. Um, Dragon Rage. Uh, maybe. I don't. I'd have to look at that card more to know if it works. You know, if I want to put it directly in this deck. Rugged Highlands, obviously. So we have the fixing. Next pack, Supplant Form. Uh, maybe. Return target. Yeah, okay, maybe. I mean, it's not what Teamer really wants to be doing, but it is a really powerful effect. Um, you can use it to protect a creature you own and then pu and put a token out there. Or you can use it to uh, bounce one of your opponent's creatures and make a copy of it. So I think it's just overall extremely powerful card. Late game, it could be a, a huge blowout. Um, I would probably play that. Where are my, you know, Frontier Mastodon, I guess. Good value there. Do, do, do. Ethereal Ambush. Uh, maybe. Maybe, baby. All right, next pack. Shaman of the Great Hunt. There we go. Whenever a creature, uh, Mythic too. Whenever a creature you control deals combat damage to a player, chair's falling apart. Put a 1-1 one, one counter on it. That is good. And Ferocious, um, you can draw a card for each creature you control the power of 4 greater. That card is awesome. Like, card draw on green, I don't know. It depends how long you've been playing, but you don't get it. And what you want to be doing is playing dumb fatties. And uh, it's a great clan to play for pre-release because it has the highest concentration of said fatties. And, um, you know, it's just a good card. Um We've got some playables in here. Again, no huge fatties, but some fatties. And you still want, so Teamer, you still want to kind of look for some uh, evasion if you can. If not, just you're really playing the mid game. So don't get blown out early. Make sure you can defend yourself early. Stuff like Archers of the Quarcy, you know, yeah, it's a 5 2 defender, but, you know, it gets rid of big stuff or you definitely have a lot of options that like little creatures that you can trade with early things like that six mana five five trample maybe all right next pack ooh 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 um no we do have a the human shaman here uh, Tassigar, the Golden Fang. Well, we've got another Fruit of the First, so you definitely wouldn't play two, but I would consider playing one again because a card draw in Teamer is good. Card draw is always good. Um, Hunt the Week. There's a Hunt the Week. I don't know how many of those I missed, but I would play at least two of those if I had them. <coughs> Enchanted Awareness, maybe. You want to just be smashing face here. And we don't have a ton of it. We don't have maybe some of what you want. However, um, you know, you got some good fatties. Obviously, Whisperwood Elemental is a great engine. Destructor Dragon. Our seated pack is going to drive whether or not we win or lose, I think. But there's some fair tricks. You pulled some value with a fetch land. Yeah, this is an okay pack. I don't know. This, uh, this whole exercise, I'm hoping it helps you. I'm experimenting with like a full week of... Um, Fate Reforged uh, preparation. So if these videos are helping you, let me know in the comment section down below. I know this one's a little bit longer, but uh, I wanted to get all the clans in one video rather than uploading a ton of different ones. Tomorrow I'm going to talk about looking out for cheaters. So make sure if you missed any of the videos in the playlist that you check out all the other ones to help get prepared. Uh, on Friday I'll upload, maybe Thursday I'll upload two, but I will get you a uh, keys to success video. Um, just good things to know about uh, playing the sealed format some people draft but i think the majority of people play sealed at pre-release so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys are having fun this week we'll talk to you again real soon hope you enjoyed the video and if you haven't already check out some of our most popular playlists from mtg vlogs sick gameplay videos 
new product breaks, and some insane vintage openings. I upload three to four new Magic the Gathering videos every week, so if you haven't already, please take a moment to crush that subscribe button to join one of the fastest growing Magic the Gathering channels on YouTube. Talk to you later.